Hey guys, welcome to another maths lesson. Today we're going to do a bit of a revision on linear equations. Uh, if at any point you find that the things that we're talking about are too hard for you, then you should go back to the algebra lessons uh, on the playlist uh, to refresh your memory on all the concepts to do with linear equations uh, before you continue with this tutorial. Otherwise, uh, have a go and hopefully everything will come back to you just like that. So if you remember linear equations, basically we are dealing with equations become a straight line graph when you draw a graph of the equation. So the general formula of linear equations is y equals mx plus c. Right, and uh, the M represents the gradient and the C represents the y-intercept. And you also need to remember how the gradient is calculated. So the gradient is calculated by the equation rise over run. And another way of expressing that is the gradient equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or uh, some people like to write it as uh, y minus y1 x minus x1 um, <coughs> when you draw a graph of this you have x on the horizontal axis y on the vertical axis and you draw two dots Uh, each dot is represented by the set of coordinates. Uh, let's say the first one is x1 and y1, and the second one is x2, y2. Right, we've got the rise, which is the vertical distance is y2 minus y1 and the run which is the horizontal distance is x2 minus x1 right. so the gradient is rise over run now if any of this confuses you you might need to go back to the algebra lessons uh, on the playlist to refresh your memory okay so uh, if I give you an equation a linear equation uh, and I asked you to graph it, there are three ways you can graph it. So if I say something like graph uh, 3x plus 4y equals 5. Now we know it's going to be a linear equation because both the x and the y are only raised to the power of 1. Right, there is no x to the power of 2 or 3 or whatever because then you know that it won't be linear. So it's a linear equation. Now the first way of graphing it is uh, of first thing we want to do generally is rearrange into y equals mx plus c form. Why do we do that? Because once we've done that, then we know what the gradient is, we know what the y-intercept is, and it just becomes really easy to graph. Right, so let's move 3x to the other side. So we have 4y equals 5 minus 3x. As you can see, I have plus 3x on the left, so if you move it to the other side, it becomes minus 3x. And then we want to divide by 4 on both sides, so it becomes y equals uh, 5 minus 3x divided by 4. And if we separate that, it becomes 5 over 4 minus 3 over 4x. And obviously, y equals mx plus c. In this equation, we require mx to be at the front of the equation so we want to move this section of the rule to the front so it becomes y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 5 over 4 
So now we have an equation that is the same thing as this equation here, but in the form of y equals mx plus c. And now we have basically three ways we can uh, draw a straight line graph. The first way we can draw a straight line graph is by using a table of values and the second way we can draw it is by using the gradient and the intercept or the third way is by using only the intercepts x and y intercepts okay so let's do it the first way so if we have x and y x let's select some uh, simple numbers 0 1 and 2 when x is 0 y is 5 over 4 when x is 1 y is so when x is equal to 1 we have negative 3 over 4 which is negative 0 0.75 so this part of the fraction is negative 0 0.75 times 1 plus 5 over 4 plus 5 5 over 4 which is 0 0.5 so we have 0 0.5 and really we only need two points right we don't really need the third point because we know that the third point is going to be on a straight line uh, formed by these two points anyway so if you draw a graph of that um, we have when when uh, x is zero y is uh, let's just have one two, three. So 5 over 4 is uh, 1.25 so it'll be about here and when x is 1 y is a half which is about here and let's join the two dots. Let's just pretend this line is really straight so we have y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 5 over 4. Now this was drawn using our first method table of values. Now let's try the second method. So I'm going to use a different colored pen to show you the second method. So we have gradient plus y intercept. Now in this equation y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 5 over 4. The gradient is negative 3 over 4. And the y-intercept is 5 over 4. So now the y-intercept, we've already plotted it here. Now the gradient says negative 3 over 4. The negative 3 part is the rise. So in the negative 3 over 4, negative 3 is the rise and 4 is the run. So what that means is from where our point is, we're going to go down by 3 units. So we go down 1 unit, which makes it 0 0.25. Go down by another unit. So let's say we have... Uh, Uh, negative 1, negative 2. So 0 0.25 minus 1 becomes uh, negative 0.75 and then go down by another unit becomes negative 1.75. So we've gone down by 3 units. From here, 1 unit, 2 units, 3 units and then we're going to move to the right which is what run means by four units. So one, uh, two, three, four. So we're going to move to the right by four units. 
and again we have our second point and you can see even though this point is at a different location essentially it joins onto the line right essentially it joins onto the straight line so uh, using the second method we have drawn the same line now let's try the third method using the x and the y intercepts now we have the equation uh, y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 5 over 4 we know that the y-intercept is 5 over 4 now the x-intercept occurs when y is equal to 0 so if we set y is equal to 0 in our equation 0 equals negative 3 over 4x plus 5 over 4 and then we rearrange the equation to isolate x so we move the 5 over 4 to the other side we have negative 5 over 4 equals negative 3 over 4x and then we isolate x by moving this to the other side so it becomes negative 5 times 4 over uh, 4 times negative 3 equals x so x equals negative 20 over uh, negative 12 which becomes uh, let's divide both numbers by 4 so it becomes 3 uh, 5 over 3 ne uh, positive 5 over 3 which is 1 and 2 thirds so 1 and 2 thirds so going back to our graph 1 and 2 thirds is about here and we have the y-intercept which is here so again we form the same straight line so it doesn't matter which method you use method 1, 2 or 3 uh, you draw the same straight line equation anyway so that is the three ways of sketching the linear uh, graph uh, I hope you guys have a good grasp on how to draw straight line graphs because that is a very basic part of 11 maths B uh, see you in the next tutorial for more linear equations revision thanks for watching